Still full of running, and he's... Götze! It's Mario Götze! Welcome to my Euro 2020 reaction series. During the 2018 World Cup, we reacted to every Germany match. There were only three of them. Germany are out. No! Let's see if this time around, things go a little bit differently. Still full of running, and he's... Götze! It's Mario You know, the last time we did one of these epis, when I put the camera in this little cupboard, and we did this one versus Portugal, we ended up winning 4-2. So, this is me doing the same thing I did because of a superstition. And hopefully that will result in a victory. Hopefully, I don't even care about a victory. Can we just get out? We just don't want to even, just don't concede. What's up, my boys, and welcome to the Germany vs. Hungary reaction episodia that is right today. It is the last match day. It is, it is the last set of matches for match day number three before we get in the knockout stage. And today is going to be a very, very intense set of matches. Uh, group F, or A, B, C, D, E, F, a, B, C, D, E. Group E, the way that it ended, was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, Lewandowski did everything in his power to keep Poland in the running. Sweden were just too good. Sweden actually made it a little bit too easy for Poland to get back in that game. Uh, and then also Spain popped off against Slovakia, which is not something that everyone was expecting. Uh, Marata had a crazy miss. Dubrovka had a crazy save against Marata, but then had one of the funnier own goals. And I think own goals might just be, or sorry, missed penalties might be the top goal scorer at uh, Euro 2020. Smash like on the video if you think these guys are about to drop the hottest mixtape of 2021. Smash like on the video if you love Duncan. Smash like on the video if you guys are also completing a Euro 2020 Panini sticker book. So, I'm about to get in the reaction really quick. The starting 11, no Thomas Muller because he's injured, might actually be missing for the starting, uh, might actually be missing for the first knockout game as well. And um, Leroy Zane is going to be making an appearance. A guy who a lot of people like to hate, but I really, really like the uh, dynamis dynamism, the, the electricity that he brings to the starting 11. Uh, and I think against a hungry side especially, a very hungry, hungry side especially could be... Uh, could be uh, a really interesting player if we need him going forward, give him a little bit of uh, match experience. I'm predicting 2-0 for Germany, for France, Portugal. I'm going to say, for, I, don't know how, I don't know how Portugal win that game based on how France have played. I'm going to say France, I'm going to say France 2-1. And uh, without any further ado, let's get into Germany and Hungary. Okay, so the starting 11, if we go to sofa score, which is what I'm using for uh, keeping uh, keeping track of the lineups, we've got obviously Robin, uh, Robin Everardis uh, Gazans. We've got Gnabry up top of the striker, Leroy Zane out on the right, Kai Havertz on, uh, Zane on the left, Kai Havertz on the right, Ilkay Gundogan, Toni Kroos, Robin Gazans. And I, the more I see uh, Joshua Kimmich play out there, the more I'm confident that that's probably one of the better places, at least in this squad, for him to play Matthias. Is Ginter Hummels and then Rudiger uh, and then honestly uh, Adam Sile, absolute freaking legend. Portugal and France draw. We go to the top of Group F and we'll play a third place team, which is really the dream scenario. If not, I think the matchup everyone wants to see is Germany versus England. Interesting little tidbit from the Portugal France match. Ooh, Kibby! Yo, it's pouring out there, dude. How many guys on the Hungarian national team are named Salai? See, that's what I'm talking about, dude. That's that's some of that inconsistency that sometimes uh, seeps in. Just switched off for a for a, a, a solitary moment, and then Hungary had a wasn't the most dangerous chance in the world, but had a chance there nonetheless. How has Renato Sanch not started every game for Portugal? It just makes no sense to me. Antoine Griezmann's defending capabilities, bro. He deserves more. Whatever, just, whatever his defending stat is in FIFA 21 is not enough. Griezmann gets back on the defense, to be fair. Mbappe. Yo, Mbappe's... France looked dangerous in these white kits, man. Again, we just really don't need to mess anything up. I'll take... Oh! What is the group looking like? We're on the bottom of the table. As it stands, we're going out! As it stands, we're going out! 
Wait a second. Are you telling me? Hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. Hold on. Are you are you telling me that at the start of this match, it was France, Germany, Portugal, and Hungary, and now we're not even 15 minutes in, and the group is completely shifted around. France, then Portugal, which Portugal will end up playing England if this actually stands. And if we don't score, all we have to do is tie. All, Germany, listen to me right now, dudes. Listen to me right now, bro. All we have to do is get one goal. We don't even need to win this. It's a great goal. I, they're, yeah, they're showing the replay of the goal. It's a great goal. I can't say anything. Legit can't say anything to that. It's a great goal. Yeah, it's a great goal. This is a hungry team that didn't concede a goal against Portugal until the 80th minute, and then the floodgates opened, right? Everyone was tired at that point. But this is a hungry team that kept a clean sheet for 80 minutes against Portugal, scored first against France, and then conceded, um, I don't know when the... Ooh, 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 ooh. Mbappe almost put one through on Portugal. Mbappe almost put one through on Portugal. Please, Germany. Oh, that chance. Oh, I thought that was it. Okay, that's good. That's a po that's positive. Creating attacking chances. Creating. We're creating chances. Come on. Corner. All right, come on. Come on, Himmels. Himmels, I'm looking at you. I'm looking at anyone right now to step up. Please, for the love of God. Yeah, I can't. I li- Oh my god, I li- <sighs> Ginter, oh my god, Ginter almost had one. The goal was scored pretty much at the exact same time as the Portugal match. Alright, and then we came back and we won 4-2. So let's go. Come on, composure. Oh my god. Bro. Your Reese out here playing WWE, bro. Ronaldo's Ronaldo's about to take a pen. Ronaldo Ronaldo's about to take a pen for Portugal. He's he's gonna make it. He's gonna make it. Ronaldo, I don't think has ever missed a pen. Oh my God. This one's for skills. See! At the start of this match day, it was France, Germany, Portugal, Hungary. It is now Portugal, France, Hungary, Germany. This is not looking good. What happened after the Portugal, after we, after, after we went down 1-0 against Portugal, it was like, it flipped a switch. I don't see a flip switching here. And this has kind of been, this has kind of been the, uh, this, this, this has been the, what, what, the Achilles heel for Germany. Just defensively, great goal from Hungary, by the way. It was really nicely timed by Adam Szajli, Sh uh, Shiley. Very, very nicely timed goal. Um, not much really that could have been done there. Just a really, really nicely timed run. But uh, yeah, just highlights highlights the Achilles heel and, and and the weakness for this German side. We just don't have uh, de de defensively. I mean, maybe it's just not. I, I I don't know. Just defensively, we switch off for a second. We have these moments of lapses where we just switch off. Shout out Hungary, man! Like legitimately, that's all I can say right now. Is shout out Hungary, dude. This Ronan Shalai guy is really good, man. Hungary Hungary are just doing their thing, man. Hungary are defending well. We're not creating any threatening attacking chances. And Hungary are just absorbing everything, man. There's just nothing threatening right now. Where the, where, what happened? We're getting bounced out of the group. We're getting grouped. We're literally in control of our own destiny right now. Why does supporting Germany have to be so painful? Question number one. Question number two is what do we even change? What's going on on the pitch right now highlights how important Thomas Müller is to the team. Timo might be an option. Bring on Goretzka. We need a spark because whatever it is right now is just not getting it done. It's the same thing. It's 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 uh, get the ball back. Ginter, Hummels, Kroos, that passing connection. Then Ginter, Kimmich. Kimmich goes up the right side, crosses, and then it turns into nothing threatening. Gazans has touched the ball. Robin Eberardis Gazans has touched the ball literally, I think, three or four times. And as it stands right now, there is not going to be more than three uh, episodes if Germany go out today. So um, I guess in advance, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching.
the most shockingly short Germany Euro, uh, I, I don't know. I still, I'm, I'm still very confident that we're going to be able to do something in the second half. I think Goretzka maybe come on. Maybe Muller can come on in an emergency, but I think maybe Goretzka and Timo or Kevi Volland might be, uh, might be guys that we could bring on and uh, do a little bit of magic for us. And then outside of that, I really don't know what else to say. The France pen was soft. Manuel Neuer, this is the real goat right here. This is who we need. We need Thomas Muller. It started. It started. All right, let's go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Okay, I don't think there's any more rain now, so there's no excuse for the elements. And the pitch looks like it's in pretty good shape as well. It's a Hungarian wall. It's legit. Hey, listen. Hey, nothing but respect to Hungary, dude. A couple years ago, I'd be crying right now, dude, but I've evolved a little bit. Renato Sanch. How has Renato Sanch not started for Portugal this entire time? Misplaced pass by Tony Cruz. That's not... It's not something you hear often. Oh, oh! Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Oh my god, as it stands, Portugal are going out. Okay, you don't like to see a guy get injured to make way for someone else, but Goretzka should have come on for Gundogan. How incredible must it be to have a guy like Ronaldo to be able to put these pens in? Oh, man, dude. We're back out. Gazans has been nowhere near what he was in that last match. Based on the current standings, yep, yeah, we're back out again. <laughs> Oh my god. We're back out again, dude. Yes! Yes! Come on, boys! Let's go, boys! Twenty minutes to go. Like I want to have hope. I want to have hope that something happens in the next fifteen minutes. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, Thomas Muller's not one hundred percent healthy. Goretzka just really hasn't had too much of an impact. Almost had a almost had a header there. Almost had a chance there with uh, the, the send in from Ginter. But outside of that, oh, Tony Cruz. Let's go, let's go! Let's go, boys! Come on, boys! As it stands right, right now, we play England, boys. Ball possession, 76%. Total shots, 18 shots on target, 7. Yo, listen, hey, man, if there's any hungry boys watching right now, boys, listen. Hey, nothing but respect for hungry. I said it all throughout the match, even when we were losing. Well, that was absolutely crazy. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. It is going to be longer than a three-part series. Thank God. I'm going to chop this up and put this up on... Uh, obviously, going to chop this up and get it out to you guys right now. But uh, an absolutely incredible, incredible match. My, my, my thoughts... I don't think Leroy Zane can start going forward. The issue, defensively, we're a little bit sus, and then we don't know what our optimal lineup is. I know Thomas Muller needs to be in it, but it needs to be a fit Thomas Muller. And then Skoretska might have just made the argument for him to start. It depends who we're coming up against, though, against England. Uh, maybe I do want to see Tony Cruz and Skoretska instead of Gundogan, but we certainly looked a lot more, uh, we certainly looked a lot deadlier with uh, Skoretska, aka Goretzka, in, uh, in, I was about to say, a net, in the starting 11 in, in the lineup. But um, I'm just, uh, I, I'm just trying to f have a couple moments here to gather my thoughts but at the end of the day a shout out hungry you guys played an incredible incredible match was not good enough di honestly based on how we played versus portugal and france those two results were good enough to go through but this match versus hungary has uh, leaves me questioning a lot of things about what we need to get done and maybe that's the question of the episode maybe i ask you guys uh from what you saw in the germany hungary match what do you guys think um in terms of what tactically we need to do to be at least a little bit more reliable and get a win. And again, nothing, no disrespect against Hungary, but this is a match that we do need to be winning. So listen, if you're a Hungary supporter, GG's, you guys absolutely played your hearts out and again, was a tactical masterclass. Thoughts are scattered. I'm literally just, I don't even know where I am right now, but I'm just happy that Germany made it through in a very unconvincing fashion. So we're going to have to do some work going up uh, into the match through England. But anyway, boys, smash like on the video if you guys did enjoy. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. I'll catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.